in the devices tree for gadgets your first power is sticky bomb sticky bomb looks like this it is my L2 square now sticky bomb inflicts the power interaction of dazed effects dazed um, will hit up to eight targets and the effects will last for 15 seconds now I'll show you what the animation for it looks like it's that purple thing on its head now this is the thing with sticky bomb and applying that power interaction your primary target whatever you're locked on to just happen to hit that target will get the PI immediately once the explosions occur and you see the yellow ticks along with it any surrounding targets will get the power interaction and I'll show you here you'll see the um, animation for dazed up on him immediately as soon as I cast it and again once the yellow ticks occur with the explosions these NPCs will then have that pink animation pink and purple on their head that's indicative of the PI being active now um, if you use something like vortex cannon or neural neutralizer those powers benefit from your normal 50 percent PI buff that means that as long as that dazing PI is active and well active on the target like these you'd have to make sure your targets all have that animation you could then use something like neural neutralizer or vortex cannon and you would buff their damage by 50 percent for those two powers sticky bomb doesn't benefit from additional damage on dazed enemies because it's an applier all it does is apply it that's um, so you're not gonna deal 50% more um, sticky bomb is also actually let me the power cost before they made changes to um, power costs in that each item level piece increased the power cost by a certain percentage like I'm I'm wearing a mixture of 124 126 and 130 so each individual piece is going to increase the power cost of my abilities now again from like three years ago the base power cost just to give you an idea of power how much it you know it would cost you to use the power was 200 uh, sticky bomb and taser pull are among the cheapest powers to cast and intimidation I'm pretty sure costs the same now I think they reduced the power cost to that a while ago but they're your cheapest and just to give you perspective sticky bomb cost uh, 795 and I'll show you how to calculate your power cost with your current gear you just go to a sparring target make sure you're in combat cast the power you want to check the power cost to and then wait for the sparring target to give you back power and it should give me back 795 which it did just make sure that you do not hit a weapon attack or anything like that otherwise you'll activate regen and that's your weapon regen and it won't give you an accurate number because now I got uh, 597 so make sure you just cast the power by itself and it will give you the power cost now again sticky bomb is one of the cheapest powers to cast if you're uh, curious now for range on sticky bomb when the crosshair on this target turns red like so that means that I am within range and that my target will get my damage unless of course he moves he's pulled or something gets in the way or I'm knocked down or whatever um, it's a guarantee your damage is going to register again sticky bomb is 25 meters and there's a damage in most cases if you step a foot back you should still be able to register some damage on them if you step too far back you're not going to register anything because now you're completely out of range and you could use this method in like fighting a boss like Stompa or, or any boss that has a 25 meter range um, that might come in handy just the whole crosshair thing in general you don't even have to use sticky bombs to get an idea of that but that's the range on sticky bomb now your damage is not going to be altered if you move closer or farther with sticky bomb it's just basically 
anywhere you're standing you're going to deal the same um, damage range now in controller stance sticky bomb is one of two powers that activates power over time and here's power over time being activated the green lightning bolt under my name tag is indicative of power over time being active once that's gone that means it's no longer up and in control roll sticky bomb will stun your primary target you're not gonna see it on these because um, sparring targets can't be controlled but your first target the one that you throw it onto he'll stay stunned right and sticky bomb will deal an initial stun and then once the explosions occur you'll deal four ticks of yellow damage which is might you'll apply the power interaction of dazing and you'll deal four knockdowns on one target now if there's more targets then each target is going to get four knockdowns and what that does is it pushes them up and out and once you're this is the weird thing about sticky bomb when you first cast it that first target um, of course he'll get stunned he'll get knocked down and he'll get right back up however any em enemies within the area of effect which is a 360 AOE they'll get the knockdown explosion and they'll stay stunned once they get back up so if you're looking to stun one target um, more than likely you cast sticky bomb on that target you're trying to stun they'll get knocked down but they won't stay stunned surrounding enemies will get the stun and that that's based on your your dom with a base of 15 seconds which I'll talk about in another video um, the damage for sticky bomb oh and sticky bomb also stuns up to eight targets but in this case because of how it works you're actually really stunning um, seven and you're briefly stunning and controlling only one and that's your primary one now in damage roll sticky bomb is a damage over time it's not a burst and it'll deal the the yellow damage and the power interaction and the control effect um, two seconds after you cast it and you'll see here so that's four ticks of damage on one target if there's um, more then you'll deal four targets on each so per target it's just four ticks and it'll hit at most up to eight um, it does work with the AM it's one of the powers that you can use to activate a power interaction and all you have to do is just throw it and you'll register a tag um, with battle display which is this thing if you cast it, it'll return power back to you, and uh, that's basically how you benefit from that. And in regards to encasements, if there's an encased NPC, it doesn't matter if you're using the advanced mechanic, you'll register a tag as you throw sticky bomb on the encased target. However, if you're trying to do damage to that target, only one tick of damage out of the four and that's the first tick is actually going to do damage on that NPC all the other uh, the three other ticks they're not going to do damage at all on the enemy mm, I think I covered all of it it's uh, again damage over time it'll hit at most eight targets on power interaction control effects and damage uh, and splitting damage splitting sticky bomb is unique in the way that it splits the damage range for sticky bomb is 700 to a thousand that's on one target if you were hitting one target if you're looking for a multi-target loadout you can use sticky bomb because you'll net two targets worth of damage and in this case um, let's say you wanted a focus fire a boss uh, you just maybe a feat or for whatever the reason throw sticky bomb and here you should see with hopefully there aren't any uh, crits you'll see anywhere from 700 yeah from 700 to a thousand here you saw maybe 800 and 900 on the target that I'm locked onto there now again you're dealing two targets worth of damage on powers that hit more than one 
that are not single target. So what that what I'm trying to say is that as long as you hit two targets, it doesn't matter whether you hit two or three, four or eight, you will always net two targets worth of damage on the scorecard or your damage total or whatever it is that you're trying to measure. However, because of damage splitting, you're dealing less damage to that target. So because of Sticky Bomb, the way it functions, your first target is actually getting 700 to 1,000 damage. However, that other 700 to 1,000, because damage is doubled on two targets, um, that 700 to 1,000 is being split among the surrounding NPCs. And again, I'll hopefully you can kind of see this without any crits. That target takes anywhere from 700 to 1,000, and then the surrounding NPCs take less damage. Now, 700 to 1,000. Um, if you are attacking two targets or more, that's a total of anywhere from 1,400 to 2,000. That's how much damage you're netting. On these targets, what you're doing is you're again you're locked on target. Whichever target Sticky Bomb lands on, that one is taking a full 700 to 1,000. Any surrounding NPCs, the other 700 to 1,000 range, that's being divided by however many targets there are. In this situation, there's seven. So it would be 700 to 1,000 range, right? Divided by seven, and then that's how much damage you deal to them. However, regardless of how much damage you're dealing per target, you are still dealing two targets worth. So you'll, as far as scorecard chasing and all that, you don't really need to worry about it. Just make sure you're always hitting two targets. And that applies to any power that hits um, two or more. And damage will always begin to split on three targets or more.